Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Uh, mail time number 19, uh, almost at mail time 20. Pretty crazy. People are so generous. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff here. We've got some boxes over here as well. But uh, more letters this time than, than anything else because of the contest we're running. If you guys don't know about it, we're having a contest where uh, you guys sent us in a, a physical drawing that you do of post to post artwork. Maybe it's a drawing of us at the table. Maybe it's a redesign of our logo. Just post to post artwork. We're going to choose the best one. We're going to feature it as the the header graphic on the post to post main, uh, like on the on the YouTube site or page or whatever. Mm -hmm. Your artwork's going to be uh, showcased for a month. The winner and the winner also gets a Boston Bruins jersey. So these, some of these, not all of these, will be entries, but some of these will be entries. And we can showcase some of their artwork to you guys uh, as we open them as nice. well. So, Very nice. Um, there are probably about 15 and 3 boxes. Uh, but first, before we get into anything, if you send anything UPS, Pure Later, uh, DHL, FedEx. FedEx, anything like that, it's not going to get to our P.O. box. We, we have a Canada Post P.O. box, which means if you live in America, you have to mail, uh, send us anything via USPS. Correct? Like, yes. You know, you say it's postal yeah. service. Or if you're in Sweden, send it via your local country's post office. Post office, basically, yeah. yeah. So uh, if you order anything from Amazon.com, we will not get it. We, well, we got two items since we opened the box, but only due to sheer luck. I'm sure there's yeah. been items that haven't made it to us. So don't, There's a very low likelihood of yeah. uh, successful. Delivery. If you do order, order anything off Amazon.ca or Amazon.com, Please make a note in your order and, and ask them to ship it. Say it must be shipped via USPS or Canada Post or wherever, like local country mail. It can't it can't be shipped UPS because they love to ship UPS. And we, we just won't get it, unfortunately. Yeah. And if you want to be sure we get it and they only ship by courier, courier to yourself and then yeah. send it to us unfortunately, from yourself. That's the only that's way. That's the only way to yeah. do it. And, uh, I, I'm saying this because I don't yeah. want people to waste money. And that, stuff. That's the thing. It's not that we want... Yeah. To accumulate more stuff. It's not that. <laughs> we have too much stuff already, but <laughs> but it's if if you actually do want to send something, I'm sure you want to send it with the intent that we get it. Yeah. <laughs> and if, if if the object of the game is that we get it, then there's a way to make sure we get it. Mm. So uh, today I spent a couple hours writing back to everyone. I have a huge stack of mail to send back. Uh, it's been a few months since we sent everything out. So if you're if you're watching this and you're waiting for something back from us, you'll definitely get it. There's just been a little delay because we stockpile the ma mail before we send it out. Um, so there's and over after this, you'll have more yeah, of this. But <laughs> currently, there's over 40 pieces of mail to send out. Um, so you guys will anyone who's written in or waiting for mail from me will receive that soon. And if you do want something back and you do want you plan on writing in, please include your return. Uh, address inside the letter or on a different piece of paper inside the package or anything like that because sometimes people don't include their return addresses on the envelope and sometimes that if they do if it get, gets ripped or, or misplaced between the letter while we're opening it's just always good to have your return address in the same letter that you're sending so easy peasy that's all cool easy let's uh jump in you ready get at it so you're done this is from sam I believe this New is Jersey. a birthday present, maybe. Oh, because your birthday is approaching. My birthday is approaching. My birthday is April 29th, so coming up. And uh, she, she mentioned something about a birthday. So it looks to be, I think that's a letter. Yeah, it looks like a letter. Okay. Hi, guys. This is Sam. <laughs> the young woman with spina bifida who sent you the new Adidas New Jersey Devils jersey with Taylor Hall on the back in January. As I'm typing this, I'm watching mail time number 11, the first mail time I was featured in, where you received the aforementioned jersey, LOL. As for what's in the package, I wanted to give you something that was one of a kind, or as Neil would say, unique. I should give you some background information first. For almost a year in 2016, I worked for a company called Origami Owl. Origami Owl is a custom jewelry company where every piece of jewelry tells your own personal story. It was started by a 14-year-old girl by the name of Isabella Weems. Bella, now 21, always dreamed of getting a Jeep for her 16th birthday, so she started Origami Owl as her dreams and her dreams came true. She got her Jeep on her sweet 16 in 2012. Origami Owl is still successful today with around 45,000 designers residing in the United States and Canada. Whoa. Back to what's in the package. I don't know if you guys wear much, if any, jewelry, but I've created locket wrap bracelets for you. You may wear them or keep them as keepsakes. 
They are completely identical except for one little detail. One has Neil's April White Diamond Swarovski Crystal Birthstone. Wow. Happy birthday, Neil. And the other one has the Goat's December Blue Zircon Swarovski Crystal Birthstone. As for what else is inside the lockets, each of them has two letter P's and a number two for post to post, <laughs> a heart-shaped Canadian flag charm, a puck with hockey sticks charm, and a red, clear, and blue stardust crystals to represent your favorite team, the Montreal Canadiens. If you're wondering how the charms are in the locket, you lay the bracelet flat and the face twists off counterclockwise. Ah. I recommend you periodically twist the face clockwise and make sure the locket is closed nice and tight, otherwise the charms will fall out and easily get lost. Lastly, there is an inscribed slider that says, All things hockey and all teams. Sorry, I could not fit the first part, the channel where we discuss. Uh, LOL. Oh, one more detail about your bracelets. They wrap around your wrists twice before fasting, just like a wristwatch. I customized a New Jersey Devils wrap bracelet for myself, and I love it. I've included two pics of my bracelet as a sample to show you what it's supposed to look like on your wrists. So here's the sample pictures. Nice. <laughs> As I said earlier, I only worked for Origami Owl for less than a year in 2016, but I still buy items through my good friend Brianna Johnson. I've spoken with Bri, and you have complete permission to plug her business and share her information on camera with my fellow viewers, subscribers. Brianna's website is, and you can maybe put that on the screen sure. if you want to. Uh, her Facebook name is there, and she can be found on Instagram right there. Cool. All righty. And please feel free to reach out to Bree or myself if you have any questions about your bracelets. I hope you guys appreciate it and enjoy them. You deserve it. Sincerely, Sam. P.S. Let's go, Devils. <laughs> P.P.S. I was going to send you a handwritten letter, but the more I wrote, the more I thought my handwriting was terrible. So at least I signed this. <laughs> and she did. Uh, you appreciate the, uh, the type oh, of Oh, yeah. I really do. Check this out. It, it says all things. She said it in, in there, but... Isn't you can see it. That it says all cool. things hockey and all teams. All things hockey and all teams. That's pretty cool. And the P to P inside. Are you going to get a close up of that somehow? To yeah, show I'll, I'll take a picture. This is actually mine. This is yours. Oh, this is mine here. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's going to be hard for you guys to see. But I'll take a picture and overlay it on the screen so you guys can see it up close. That's so it goes cool. around twice and then hooks up. I'll figure it out. <laughs> You'll figure it out. <laughs> here, look at the instruction pictures. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you got it? I got it. I got this. I'm going to set mine aside for now. I'm going to put mine on. It's just, I think it, there might be a team effort to put these things A team on. effort? You need another hand? Here. There. Perfect. I'm in. Oh, wait, there's, there's a little, yeah, a little sleeve there. There. How neat is that? Go. I like that that's a, a very, lot. That's a very unique Thank you very much, Sam. Gift. Sam. That is Thank you. wonderful. Very nicely done. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to wear it. looks like a watch. I'll look at it and wonder what time it is. What time is it? It's a P2P? Yeah, <laughs> P2P. <laughs> oh, well, this next one looks like a... There's a picture of Her Majesty on the stamp. Oh, yeah. So it's the right. Royal Mail. I'm just going to take these pictures and sure. put them over there. I'm glad she actually included pictures because yeah. I probably would have struggled to, to see... Uh, How her. big do you think our arms are, Sam? Come on. I, I think we have these yeah. big arms like legs. <coughs> obviously, it's a double around and... All right. Very groovy. And here we are. Oh, holy smokes. Whoa. What there the... is pictures of a Canadian Prime Minister there. What? Post to post. Dear Neil and Brent, I know previously you've said you don't, don't do this, but being of Brent's generation, I'm a bit of a technophobe. So I'll take my chances with the mail rather than some donation page. Could you please take the enclosed and forward it on to the Humboldt Broncos Fund for me? Absolutely. Isn't that something? Please don't mention my name on air. Just say it's from a member of the hockey family in the UK. Your country has loaned us so many young men over the years, but to hear of such a tragedy where so many young men have lost their lives too soon pursuing the sport they love and I love is just heartbreaking. I can only say to you all, they were in the, all in the thoughts and minds of all the hockey family at this weekend's EIH, EIHL playoffs finals, and a lot of love was sent across the water from Nottingham. With deepest sympathy to all involved, no need to reply to this letter, just knowing you have received it will be enough, and it's from Justin in Hereford. Uh, wow, that's, that's really, really something. That's just a copy of the same letter, but there's a little note on the back. Uh, if you, if you are, if you are, not, <laughs> if you are not Neil and you re remove the contents, I will know and shame on you. <laughs> nice, nice work there. 
Uh, that's that's an outstanding donation. Yes. And uh, we will see that it goes to the humble. One hundred percent. Yeah. Will, yeah. Absolutely. We'll make the donation, and probably should be soon because I think they're almost ready to close down the yep. uh, the GoFundMe. Yeah, we'll do that. So uh, let's do that. We'll do Basically, that right away. Actually. Yeah, we'll do it right away. Uh, you probably just do it through a credit card and then put that in your credit card and do it that yeah, way. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Outstanding. Yeah, Thank you so much. That's very generous. generous very, very lovely. That's uh, that's very nice. I don't know how you get two $50 bills. And I was just th- I was thinking that. Like, how did you get Canadian? <laughs> yeah. I suppose banks have foreign exchange. Mm, so. This one's ripped a little bit. Uh, I don't know if anyone at the post hope, office... I hope no one got the money out of it. Sneaking. <laughs> this comes from Wisconsin. Yeah. Blackville, Wisconsin. Cool. Very nice. Alrighty, and away we go. There's no artwork in here. Dear Jason, Brent, and the Post to Post crew, <coughs> my name is Kyle, and I would like to tell you how much I appreciate everything that you do on YouTube. I have been a subscriber of your channel since August of 2017, and you have inspired me to watch and enjoy hockey more and more ever since. Brent is truly the goat. The goat. The goat. And Jason is pretty cool, too, and has a little uh, smiley face. I'm also a huge fan of the Boston Bruins. Sorry. <laughs> and I have been since they won the <laughs> Cup in 2011. Question. Would you consider me a bandwagoner even though it has been seven years since? Uh, what? I... Would you consider him a bandwagoner that he supports Boston even though it's been seven years since they won the Cup? No, definitely no, no, definitely. I wouldn't either. No. No. And this, is, this is Kyle, by the way. Uh, definitely not a bandwagoner. Yeah. Now, people could be con- accused of being bandwagoners for Vegas this year. I-, I could be accused of that. But seven yeah. years sticking with the Boston Bruins, and they've had some pretty tough years. Missed the playoffs uh, several times. Yeah. That's not a bandwagoner. No, That's no, a, no. a true fan. So yeah, good yeah. for you. Absolutely. Right on. Uh, my favorite player is Brad Marchand. And even though he is hated by a lot of people, <laughs> I really do like his athleticism and how he plays. Zdeno Chara is also very good, but is getting to that age where he might retire. So hopefully he gets another cup before that happens. It could happen. Even though I have never been to an NHL game, I've been to a few Green Bay Gamblers games with my family over the years, which is not too far of a drive for for me from my hometown of Wausau, Wisconsin. Yes, you can say that on camera. I really love... uh, I'm glad... (coughs) glad. I already did. (laughs) I really love your channel and all that you do and would appreciate a couple of Bruins cards or post-to-post stickers. And he gives his return address, uh, and it's his address at college. So if we send something back... Try and do it before the end of April. Otherwise, if it's after the end of April, it's his home uh, okay. home address in Marathon. So uh, that probably way... Send it to your home address. Yeah, it probably would be... Because it's April 20th right now, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the 19th, I guess. Oh, so 19th, yeah. By the time we get around to that, it'll be not safe just to get from here all the way to Wisconsin in time for the end of April. Wow. Hope did well this year. Hope the exams went well or whatever you do at college. I got some Bruins cards for you. So. Yeah. Hook you up. Don't worry. This is another one from the United States of America. This one's come from Georgia, Mm. Oglethorpe, Georgia. Whenever I write people back, I always include some cards from their favorite team. I tell you what, I have no Pittsburgh cards left, and I have no Minnesota Minnesota cards left. There's been a lot of Minnesota and Pittsburgh fans who who are right in. And Um, and you're tapped out. I'm tapped out. I don't have any Pittsburgh or Minnesota cards left. Wow. Uh, But I do have lots of Boston cards. Cool. Slide that over to you. All righty. Going to open it up. (coughs) And please, this is from Jake. Jake. Dear Neil and Brent, my name is Jake and I'm 16 years old and from Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. Oh, it's Fort Oglethorpe, sorry. I started watching you about a year ago and you helped me discover the game of hockey. Now I'm a huge Nashville Predators fan, with my other favorite teams being the Calgary Flames and the Montreal Canadiens, in that order. I would love some cards if that wouldn't be a problem. I want to really thank you for introducing me to the game and keep up the great content. Also, I'm a big NASCAR fan as well, Brent, and depending on when you receive this letter, I will be attending my very first NASCAR race at Bristol, April 15th. Thanks again, Jake. You just watched that race. I hope you got to see the race, Jake, because it was delayed by a day because of rain. So if you were there on the Sunday, you saw a couple of hundred laps, but they didn't get enough run to call it an official race. Mm. They had to redo the race on Monday, and it was a pretty good race. My my guy, Bubba Wallace, he, he led the race for a while. And he ran second for a little while longer, but he ultimately finished like 14th mm. or something. But I, I love that race, and you even liked it, right? I did. It was pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, Jake's uh, address has been separated from Uh-oh. the envelope, okay. so we're going to have to make sure that... So, yeah, this is this is what I worry about, because yeah. if you do want something back, please include your address. Yeah. We caught this one, but sometimes they get misplaced. Yeah, so. there, but there's been a few times where I didn't yeah. catch it and couldn't write someone back, unfortunately. Thanks a lot, Jake, and I, hope, uh, I really hope you saw the race, and I hope you were happy with who won. I'm... Uh, I'm not a Kyle Busch fan, so. <laughs> yeah. It was a exciting end to it, though. Oh yeah. Regardless of who won. Yeah. 
This one is from Bloomfield, Colorado, oh, wow. your favorite state. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like maybe artwork. There we go. Okay. So I'll get the message. Dear Neil, my name is Addison, and I'm a, such a huge fan of the channel. From the mail time to the contest and Brent getting memed, favorite video <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> Um, I entered this drawing with a feeling that I might get a Bruins jersey. Like you, I'm not the best artist in the world, and heck, I'm not even that good at it in general. But then I thought of the old great one quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Exactly. Sincerely, Addison. Well done. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't underestimate the power of McGoat. McGoat. McGoat fries. Here oh, it is. Oh, wow. So it's a pretty cool drawing. Got post to post, some cross hockey sticks. The logo right in the middle, and then all things hockey. Right on. That's pretty cool. And here's another one where Addison's uh, address is separated from. Okay, hey, I will I'll need to reintegrate that. So this is the first official entry. Entry. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is put this off in a different pile to keep it separate. Right. Put all the entries together. So if it's okay with you, maybe I can get you to put that over there. Or you even can. Just down on the floor, maybe. Sure. I'll just put it over here. On the accessory table. There we go. This is from Florida. Florida. Ooh, is that our first? No, this isn't our first Florida. We had a package from Florida before. Yeah. Um, Can we get any warm air to it too? Is there the warm air all gone? Uh, I think that's the letter. Okay. It's the artwork. Ooh. This drawing is for the contest. My return address is on the letter, so it's on the envelope itself. Okay. So I'll another one will put this in. That's that's all there is in okay. the and it is uh, my favorite Colorado. Oh, nice! Uh, my favorite jersey in general. And that's Colorado. from Harris, I believe. It says Harris at the top. Yeah, I think it was his name on the. Uh, oh yeah, I have it here. Uh, it's just the initial. Oh. Yeah, H. Valrico, Florida. Well, thank you for entering the contest. And it was posted in uh, Tampa, St. Petersburg, so it must Ooh. be on the West Coast, on the Gulf Coast. My favorite part of Florida, I must say. It's pretty nice. You like in the Gulf. I like Clearwater. I like Clearwater, Madeira Beach, Indian Rocks, Largo. Yep, Largo's good. Largo's great. If you were going to live in Florida, what would it be? Probably, <coughs> if I couldn't get right on the water, like Madeira Beach or someplace, I'd probably want to be in Lakeland, because there's lots of airplanes there. Ah. Yeah. This is uh, you another one from... Wales. Whoa. Wales. You're part oh, Welsh, yeah. you know. I know. Uh -huh. Part everything. <clears throat> Dear Brent Neal, I'm Matthew, and I'm 14 years old from Cardiff, Wales. First of all, I would like to thank you for the amazing work you put into your channel. I really like your arenas videos, as I like looking at venues. I also like your jersey and logo videos, as I find it interesting to see what other teams wear. I have never got ice hockey, but I got really into it recently. Uh, great thanks to you guys. I'm a Flyers fan and also like the Lightning and the Canadians, thanks to you. Being from Cardiff, Wales, I'm a fan of the Cardiff Devils. Well, you must be pretty happy because they just won the uh, <laughs> yeah. championship. I, I also have some ice hockey in me as my mom was an ice hockey goalkeeper and I am a field oh, hockey. Cool. Every time I see that you have uploaded a video, I'm like, yes, and mm -hmm. you make my day. Brent, I may disagree with your choice of football, soccer, as I'm a Liverpool fan. Uh-oh. Well, that's okay, because I used to watch Liverpool very closely, because the owner of Liverpool was George Gillette, who at the same time oh, was, owned oh, the Montreal, Montreal Canadiens. Canadians. Right. And I thought of Liverpool as a sister team to Montreal. Mm. So I'm I'm not against Liverpool. Right. I like I like United, but, you know, Liverpool's okay. All right. So, anyway, that, that fight's over with. Uh, I have a question for you. What is the best moment as a hockey fan? And, wow. Mm. For me, it's probably the Golden Goal Olympic yeah. overtime. For me, it's Sydney Crosby. It's being almost a part of, but certainly watching the Stanley Cup parade when Montreal won their last cup in 1993. Mm -hmm. I was right there, uh, went right past me, and I was there in the city the day after the cup was won, broken glass on St. Catherine Street. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have a video of that on the channel. Oh, yeah. I think it's episode like 18. Yeah, it's really long like ago. Yeah, yeah, so go check it out. Yeah. And I've not forgotten about you, Neil. What is, out of all the arenas you have done a video on, your favorite? Mm. Oh, the one in Switzerland. Or uh, the Dav Davos. Davos, yeah. yeah the Davos yeah, arena. Where they play the Spengler Cup. Yeah, and my yeah. second favorite would probably be the one in Maine. 
Right, um, Orono, Maine, the University yeah, yeah. of Maine in Orono. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. My final question is for both of you. What NHL game do you recommend I should watch? Um, oof. I could probably recommend series. Like the Dallas Edmonton series back in the late 90s were really good. Mm -hmm. The Detroit uh, Colorado That's series. That's the one I'd pick. In the, in the 90s and yeah. early 2000s. The, the Detroit that Colorado. That rivalry, even though the, the towns are not close together, Denver and Detroit are mm. over a thousand miles apart. The rivalry was unbelievable, yeah, yeah, and the amazing. emotion and the passion in that series was just over the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. I would appreciate it if you could send me something, maybe uh, lighting or flyers based, lightning or flyers based. I would have liked to send something other than this letter. P.S. Sorry for any spelling mistakes. Uh, this is the main reason I typed this, plus my handwriting is terrible. <laughs> and from Matthew. Thank you very much, Matthew, in Cardiff. That's uh, lovely yeah, to, no to problem, get that, man. and the address is on the letter. It so is on the letter. In this case, cool. it's great. Right there, so you can perfect. Yeah, put that in the regular, the regular pile. In the regular pile. Next, check out that stamp. That, oh, it's a it's a goalie. No, it's you, not a goalie. Oh no, it's not. Okay, it's a skater. USA Forever. It's a USA yeah. Hockey. This is coming to us from Alabama. Ooh, holy smokes! It's great to see hockey fans in the South, Florida, Alabama. We got some Georgia, some South Carolina. Yeah, lots of Georgias and, and yeah. Virginias and stuff too. Yeah, that, that's just awesome. Oh. We have the letter. Oh, there's something. There's an enclosure, so I'll pass that to you. Dear Neil and Brent, I'm a Nashville Preds fan and a Birmingham Bulls fan, and I love your YouTube channel. I went to a Preds game at Christmas, and the Preds beat the Wild 3 0. Now let's talk about the Bulls. Yeah, the Bulls are, are new. You thought the hockey rink was was rinky dink. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best they could do. <coughs> you can send me some things if you want to from Christian. P.S. Go Preds and Bulls. I hope you answer my letter. Thank you. My grandpa did not uh, want me to send you. Oh, Preds hat. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and he's nine years old. That's, That's okay. fantastic. I got a Preds hat right here. Right on. <laughs> Thank you very much, Christian. Uh, I'm not sure if you want. Uh, us to show you yeah, these yeah. photos, but he's included uh, pictures of him and his mom uh, at a game. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's great. No. Looks like a Bulls game too, by the look of the uh, the place where they are. I would say it looks like kinda... they're in Predators merch. Oh, it's that's a Preds game. Yes, it yeah. is indeed. That must be the Christmas game. You then. blind? I blind. Uh, the address is on the outside of the envelope, so they'll need to stay together. Uh, perfect. Lovely. I will actually put this on top. I don't know. Very good. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Chris. Yeah, I like, your, I like all your merch in the photo there. Eugene, Oregon. Let me guess. You've been there. I have not. Oregon is a state I have not been to. I've flown over it. Have you been to Montana? No. Washington State, Washington and Nevada and Arizona are, are the only states really in the West I've been to. Hmm. Best I can tell. Yeah. You've been to California. Jet setter. <laughs> this is just an entry. Oh, cool. That is really good. <laughs> that is really good. It looks like you got a Carolina Hurricanes jersey on. Yeah. Oh, there's the mic there. Yeah, the microphone. And your mug. This is from Trent in Eugene, Oregon. Your mug. My mug. Is there. Down there. <laughs> my ugly mug on the on the face and my drinking mug before that, so... That's great. That is an entry. So we'll put that over in this side. Uh, yes, yes. Keep it in. Yep. Put it in the letter. So two en two entries now, I believe, eh? Or three? Uh, that's. Oh, three. Yes, yeah, that's, that's three. the third one. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Trent. This one's coming to us from Alberta. Is this our first Canadian letter of this mail time? Ooh, it is. Wow. Oh, Ooh. it's an entry with cards included. Oh, there's a bit of a letter in the back of it, I guess. <laughs> Ranking my favorite. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Post to Post. Ranking my favorite Post to Post videos. <laughs> my favorite hockey channel, Post to Post. That's great. <coughs> That's this cool. is from Owen. Hello, Post to Post. My name is Owen. This is my submission for your jersey contest. I do like to think I'm like you, Neil. My drawing skills aren't that great, but I would still like to try. I do not like the Bruins that much, but I would like to start collecting jerseys. Yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. yeah. About myself, I'm a 12-year-old boy from a hamlet called Dap. 
is it DAPP? I think it says. Uh, looks like DAPP here. Uh, DAP. It's yep. about an hour's drive to Edmonton. My favorite team <clears throat> is the Oilers, and my favorite player is Dreisaitl. As I said earlier, I don't like Boston, but I think it would be fun collecting jerseys. It is fun. Yeah. yeah. When I went to see the Oilers play the Flyers last season, that is it for now. Bye. Sincerely, Owen. He says right now my only jersey is a... Oh, I see. I missed that one. That's Luchich right. jersey. My, yeah, my only jersey is an orange Luchich jersey I got when I went to see. Yeah, I, mean, I skipped the line. Sorry about that, Owen. So let's show... That's nice. Yeah, you'll have to show that. I'll show this. That one's also included some cards. Oh, oh wow. I can zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's not going to be in focus, but anyways, there's actually really good. Oh, yeah. that new camera is so cool, isn't it? And there's also a Jake Allen hockey card and a Saku Koivu hockey card. Yeah, this card. this Saku Koivu card is amazing. As everyone knows Saku Koivu is my all-time favorite hockey player, and Jake Allen is my current favorite hockey player, current so, NHL player. Well done. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Owen. <coughs> Marvelous. And that's an entry, so I'll put it on that side. This. This one comes to us from Finland. Ooh. No kidding. Oh, is this from Mika? Those are beautiful stamps, too. Try to keep them from... You want to collect some stamps? Well, I don't know. I haven't collected stamps in a long time. It's probably not as big a thing as it used to be. They're beautiful. There you go. All right. And away we go. Yeah, those are nice stamps. Hello, Post to Post crew. I decided to have a... A crack at the drawing competition. Hopefully this will reach you in one piece and also on time. Finnish Post has a bad habit of losing letters. <laughs> but they didn't lose this one. They didn't lose this one. So, yeah. These days, he says. Yours from Mika. And look, he's got the, yeah. the return address right there. And then the artwork. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dang. Wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. I might Want me to hold that up while you zoom? Uh, I, can, I can do it. You can do that? And see, it's not going to be in focus, but that's really well done. Hopefully, you can see. I know it's kind of hard to see with the it's so bright, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> I can't mm. tell there. So uh, that that's pretty good. Yeah, there's the picture of Justin. There's there's, there's you. There's the yeah. code over there. I have my very own mean. How about you, son? And, uh, hey, guys, it's good to have such a great community around this channel. That's you. And that must be Jason down there. I prefer I the prefer bake, bake to bake. bake to Bake channel, to be honest. <laughs> that's hilarious. Thanks a lot, Mika. That's wonderful. That's awesome. Super great guy, yeah. too. Is that right? Yeah. And really good uh, good cartooning there. Like yeah. It's almost a, a professional-looking job. That's pretty good. So I'll put that right over here. It doesn't need an envelope because it's uh, it's got his address right on it. On that specific, uh, yeah, uh, on actually, yeah, it's on this one, so we'll so, keep them together. Let's keep that together. And you want the stamps, so I'm gonna put this over here. Yeah, definitely. Finland. <clears throat> so four entries now. Yeah. This one is from North Carolina. Four Oaks, North Carolina. Quite thick. The uh, the Finnish stamps are all like flowers, um, a nice like river. In the fall, some uh, looks like a lake or something like that. Yeah. United States stamps are like flags, Mer yeah. America. <laughs> <laughs> but you can you can get other stamps. Yeah, yeah. It's just this is funny. Yeah. And the Canada ones are the same way. We just, yeah. We have some are just Canadian flags. Yeah. And Finland. Yeah. I think Finland does it right. Yeah. All right. There's. Uh, wow. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. Man. Whoa. I'll pull this aside. And let you handle the rest. Hi, Brent Neal. My name is Stephen, and I'm 11 years old, and I live in Four Oaks, North Carolina. My favorite team is the Carolina Hurricanes, and I've been a fan of them since 2012. Schedule. Oh, man. Heck yeah. And my favorite player is Jordan Stahl. The way I got into hockey is my family went to go see a cane, the Canes take on the Panthers, and the Canes won one nothing. In that game, I was hooked. And when Eric Stahl was traded, that let's just say that I cried myself to sleep that night. And my first video was the Jersey Rankings. And then I watched the logo ranking, and when I saw how high you placed the Canes, I subscribed. <laughs> I have a question. What do you think went wrong with the Canes this year? Uh, goaltending. Yeah, really. Yeah, uh, goaltending. Scott Darling, and he didn't have a good year. Yeah. Cam Ward played okay, but still, they, they didn't defend that well. Um, and they just inconsistent goaltending. If they had had good goaltending, yeah. they'd be a playoff team. Legit. But with the new ownership situation settled, 
and they've got some talent like Skinner, and these guys are amazing. They'll. Uh, oh yeah, they'll be fine. That's a team on yeah, the, on they'll the be good. trending up. Yeah. Uh, anyway, here is what I've sent you: hockey cards and a Jordan Stall card that I have signed because I play hockey and a cane schedule. As a hand drawing in, of, in my opinion, the best goalie of all time, Dominic Hasek. And I have a request for a video. Do ECHL jersey rankings. So I hope you guys grow larger. I think you guys are the best. So good luck and go Canes. P.S. Could you send me some Canes cards? Oh, yeah. I can send you some. I've got some Canes cards I can send you. Right on. Well, Thank you very much for these, for these cards. Wow. These are really nice. And this is an entry. Now, this is a... That's awesome. Oh, no. It's, the, it's not an entry. This is a, just a drawing of Dominic Hasek, right? Mm. Some of these cards are actually signed by... Oh my. That one's signed. And this one's signed. This is um, Kyle Palmieri. Wow. That one's signed. Kyle Palmieri. And then here's the one that he said he signed. Nice. He put his signature on that one. <laughs> and I've got a Nathan Beaulieu signature here. Holy smokes. Rookie that's card. Awesome. Nathan Beaulieu rookie card. Thank you very much. That's, I appreciate that's that. That's amazing. And some other pretty cool cards here too. I put this back in the envelope because he... Uh, he wants some Kane's cards back, and okay. the address is on the outside. Perfect. So, thank you very much for the schedule. That's a great That's schedule. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, we're collecting schedules. If anyone's <laughs> wondering why we're so excited by a schedule, yeah. A friend of mine in Edmonton, his name is Mickey. He collects schedules too. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's a pretty yeah. unique thing to collect. Yeah, because it's not easy to get. He wanted me to send us some schedules from here, and I just remembered that now. And the season's over. I'm well, not quite over, but the schedule part of the season's over. So, mm. sorry, Mickey, if you're watching. I forgot until just this minute. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, so this is from... This comes from Mount Horeb, Wisconsin. Wisconsin? I love Wisconsin. I love me my Wisconsin. Right, this is from... Tim. I've been to Wapaka. I've been to... There we go. Milwaukee. I've been to Oshkosh. I've been to Appleton. <coughs> yeah. To post, to post. Apologies to Brent for the yeah. handwriting. You're good. Uh, but I'm a little busy right about now. When I was... A kid, I played hockey with area clubs, but I fell out of love with the game after my high school co-op team had issues, making it a lot less fun to play and a lot more pointless to make the 26-mile journey to their rink and back. But watching your videos has brought me back. Unfortunately, I can't decide which NHL team to be a fan of. Hmm. Both the Blackhawks and Wild are represented in Wisconsin. Family loves the Blues. And a friend was drafted by Anaheim. Wow. Ooh. I'm already a huge fan of the Wisconsin Badgers and Madison Capitals of the USHL, and I'm wondering if you could send something from a junior league team up there. Hmm. I don't have anything from a junior team. Mm hmm But I don't know I don't know what I could get that would be I know they have a shop. I'll, I'll go in and look at the shop and see. Yeah. Um yeah. Uh, keep up the good work from Tim, and he has his name right or his address right on the cool. uh, right on the letter. P.S. I work for a workwear company that gets lots of returns sent from your area. Hmm, interesting. Workwear company. I wonder if it's like Big Boy or one of those places. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's, the Islanders are really rough in their work clothes. Who he's knows? included a Peter Forsberg. Oh wow. Card here. Very nice. That's, that's mm. vintage. I think it's his rookie card. He's in the Philadelphia Flyers. Oh jersey, right. So. <coughs> Nice. Anyone remembers that whole shenanigan thing that went down in the, the Lindros trade? Yeah. And you know it is because it shows him his last two seasons playing for Moto. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so no yeah. previous history with the Flyers there. Cool. Very nice. Thank you so much. Side. Thanks, Tim. Yes, thanks, Tim. Oh, this one's ripped a little bit. This is from Michigan. Someone took the money out. Imagine the money. <laughs> this is a very nice envelope here. All righty. Madison Heights, Michigan. Very nice. Oh, wow. Whoops. Oh, no. We have something. I'll get that. Don't worry about it. Oh, wow. In your name, a tree is being planted. Is being honored with the gift of a tree planted in one of our national forests. This gift comes to us Whoa, from, really? uh, from Kelly. That's from awesome. the Arbor Day Foundation. That is great, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate that. That's great. We have a tree. Look at this. It's a. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. I need to. So is this. A... It's, it's kind of glued, so. 
have to hold it a certain way. There we go. Sharks, Canadians, and, and uh, so Dallas. So my three, my top three favorite teams <laughs> all together. That's nice. That's awesome. That is very nice. And then in, uh, I, I assume this is a drawing yep. for uh, an entry. That's really well done. Captain, Captain Neil. <laughs> That's actually, that's really well done. Yeah, thanks a lot, Kelly. That's great. It looks better than the real Neil, hey. if you ask me. <laughs> that's not very nice. There. Right on. Yeah, that's awesome. Very Thank cool. you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. So that's well, that's a very nice gesture, too, to... Yeah, so are treat. you going to... We should retain this envelope. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to slide this. We'll put it in the artwork side. And this, lovely. And put that, put that. And I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna put it, hold it up very gently. Very and nice. I'm put it over here. And all the now here's an example of stamps <coughs> from the United States that aren't all flags. Yeah. Turtle, there, a turtle, a lizard, and a snake. A snake. Yeah, that's. And great. on the back, there's some interesting just pictures, uh, animal. Mm. So clearly, uh, Kelly is very much into the natural environment. Planting trees and all that hmm. kind of stuff. That's great. Uh, this is from the mass, I think. Oh, that's damn. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Ooh, we've got some hockey this cards This came here. from Hingham. Hingham, Mass. Wow. Post to post, I hope you enjoy some of these hockey cards. From... That's cool. 80, I think. You so, see that? Oh, nice. Wow, Sam Pollock. And then Phil Goyette. Phil Goyette. Phil Goyette. And he lived just down the street from me. Did he? He did. Phil Goyette. And then a UP card. This is great. He's just down the street from where I grew up. Uh, Shane Don't card. And I don't know, I'm not familiar with that name. That name? Be. Frank Brimsek from the Bruins. Ooh, cool. That is ancient. And the Ilya Kovalchuk. Uh, all-star card and a Ryan Miller card and a Shane Doan Shane Doan platinum card very nice very cool. I love that Phil Goyette <coughs> card that's nice literally just down the street did I tell you that yeah he did a couple times actually <laughs> he lived on Sherbrooke Street I, I don't know where he's at now and hopefully he's still there same street as Larry Robinson uh, no Larry was on 50th I think 50th Larry and Claude were on 50th uh, Avenue but uh, he was on Sherbrooke ah Phil Little Phil. Thank you very much. This is from Lovely. Pennsylvania. Oh, this nice. is from Bryce. He's wrote written us a few times. Oh, hold on, I got some more stuff in there. Ooh, some cards. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna. Allison Park, Pennsylvania. Might be some drawings in here. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Hi Neil. Here is a submission for the art contest. I wrote in once before. I'm a huge Pens fan. I have included a few of my Montreal cards. I have about 100,000 hockey cards. 100,000? My dad gave me about 60,000. Can you Man. send me some Evgeny Malkin and Phil Kessel cards? I can do that. Right on. I can do that. Actually, I'm tapped out of Pittsburgh cards right now. I've, yeah, I just, I just realized that. I'll, I'll go into my, um, my actual personal uh, collection uh, and, and get, get some cards for you out of there. <laughs> All righty, nice. go pens. P.S. Tell Brent he looks like Barry Trotz. Not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, that's a common comment. Common comment, Bryce. In the and, comment and I look at Barry Trotz and I think, <coughs> I don't look like Barry Trotz because I have a neck. Oh, that's a, is that a shot? It's a you shot. Throw, you throwing Sorry, shade? Barry, I'm throwing some shade on your neck or yeah. lack thereof there, Barry Trotz. So he's included some, some Munchall cards here. Oh, nice. And this looks to be a redemption card. I'm not sure how those work, but... We'll look into that later. Mm, look at this. That's great. This is unbelievable. That's extremely well done. Holy smoke. All the jerseys in the back, the colors are amazing. I'll zoom in on this one. zoom in on this bad boy. It's going to be a hard choice for these logos. And I know it's out of focus, I'm sorry. But you got to get the idea. Let me go back some. It's pretty cool. It is very cool. Pretty damn cool. Nice. It's very well done. You got the goat shirt on. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you very much, Bryce. And then there's another one, I think. Oh, where's the other one? 
That's the thing I just read. Oh, okay, it's right here. Oh, oh, that's one. <laughs> cool. That's supposed to be me. If you can't tell, it also says Neil. Well done. So there's no address on this where he. I have his address on file. You have his address on file. Okay. Address on so we'll file. put all of this over in the entry pile. Yeah. Thank if you can you. put that all back in there, I'm going to take these cards and put them over here. Thanks, Bryce. It's going to be tough picking a winner. It's going to be tough. It's already tough. Some good, good entries there. Real good ones. This comes from St. Louis. Yeah, St. Louis. What? It's a trick. Wow, that was in there. Uh, toit. Toit. Betty Toit. Oh, it's an entry. Ah, it's an entry. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Wow. Post to post. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. Oh, there's an address on the back. Oh, nice. Perfect. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. That's actually, that's actually tremendous. Yeah. It's really well done. That's, that's really cool. That's from John, I think it's uh, mm. his first name. So. John, yeah. yep. Yep. Thank you very much for the entry. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, there you go. Lovely. Thank you, John. Getting all kinds of entries. That's awesome. All right. I have to open this one carefully, I think. This one's from Ontario. Ontario, Canada or Ontario, California? Ontario, Canada. Oh. Can't be too short. Now, there's two envelopes the same size as this one. One says do not bend, and then they bent it. Which is this one. So that's up. But this one says. So okay. say, it doesn't say do not bend, and they didn't and bend. I didn't bend it. So I'm going to slide. There's two things oh, in there. Alrighty. Hi, I've been watching your <coughs> channel for a while now, and I really enjoy watching your arena ranking videos. So it would be great if you did OHL arenas from Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. Cool, yeah, we'll definitely do all the, uh, all the leagues in time. That is That's, cool. Is that PEI? I think it's PEI. Nice. Well done. Yeah. And that got is a, really good. Oh, nice. Uh, raising the, the flag there. Oh, wow. Bouchard raising Check the flag. Number three. If you don't Coach know, uh, we live in Prince Edward Island, Canada, on the East Coast, and it's a drawing of, of our province. That's pretty cool. That's great. Um, is there no oh, address? Okay. I gotta keep this. Yep. If you can put that back in there. I will. Thank you, Christopher. I'm gonna take the card and put it over here. So we're getting lots of entries for the contest. That's awesome. That makes me very happy. Let's get underneath. So just fall. Okay. Go. There we go. Okay. All right. On the envelope, oh, I guess I <laughs> we should read the first page first. Yeah, to post to post. Hello, Neil and Brent. My name is Brandon, and my favorite NHL team is the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, I know yeah. they are terrible, but I still watch and cheer for them. Good for you. I've been watching your videos for a while now, and I think the first video mm -hmm. I've seen of yours was Celebrities Who Love Hockey. Mm -hmm. I have a YouTube channel called The Extreme Diamond. Hee <laughs> hee, I just uh, plugged myself. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the cards that I sent you. I hope... It adds a little bit to your collection. The artwork that I sent you is my entry for your Boston Bruins jersey giveaway. Cool. Oh, oh, wait, I mean contest. <laughs> you can send me something or sign something for me, but you don't have to. Please uh, and thanks. My address, and he gives it, and he's from, uh, oh, Anjou, Ville d'Anjou. Very good, in Montreal, or in the Montreal area. I wrote, don't bend on the envelope, but I bet the damn Canada Post worker still bent it. They did. <laughs> I hope the cardboard prevents them from bending it. Sorry, is my writing isn't neat. Your writing's actually quite good. Yeah, it's good. Thank you very much, uh, Brandon. That's Here's wonderful. The, the artwork. That's very it's nice. Kind of a cool post-to-post uh, -post thing with different colors and stuff. That's yeah. pretty. That's pretty good. That's very good. And then on the cardboard, he says, "Please enjoy this cardboard." <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's great, Brandon from from uh, Anjou, Anjou, Quebec. Lovely. And his address is in on the the. It's funny that he said. That he, he commented on the don't bending yeah. thing, and then they bent. And then they bent it. <laughs> yeah. Right on cue, Canada yeah. Post. Well done. It, 
Yeah. So people from Sweden and Finland often complain about their packages not arriving and stuff. Yeah. Things usually arrive here, but when they say do not bend, they they're always bent basically. <laughs> yeah. No offense to the people that I know that are watching who work for. Yeah, there's some fine people Canada who work Post. for Canada Post. You know who you are. Yeah. Okay, this is from. This is heavy. It feels like this is from Adam. Bergen, New York. New York. Nice. There. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look at that schedule. Heck, yeah. My name is Adam. I'm 30 years old. I live in Bergen, New York, about a half hour west of Rochester and an hour east of Buffalo. We've been probably through there. Probably. On our way from Buffalo uh, along I-90, I think it is, through Darien Lake and that area. That's mm -hmm. the time we went to Darien Lake. Probably went right through there. Back in 1995. My favorite teams are the Buffalo Sabres, Florida Panthers, Rochester Americans, and Springfield Thunderbirds. Last weekend I attended an Amherst game, which is the short version of the Rochester Americans, when they clinched a playoff spot for the first time in four years against the Thunderbirds. I'm sending along four pucks from my four favorite teams, holy smokes, Whoa. as well as a pocket schedule from the Amherst, since I know you like to collect them. My favorite player of all time is Jody Gage. My mom's favorite player is Yvonne Lambert. Brent will probably remember him playing for the Habs. I sure do. Hmm. Number 11 back in the day. Ah. I enjoy watching your videos, especially the history videos. I, we need to make more of those. It's yeah. just been so busy. But I know some people have been commenting like, where's the rest of the history videos? Uh, yeah. They well. were made, I don't want to say pretty early on in the channel, but uh, the majority of people watching probably don't even know that they exist. We have a playlist set up called The History Of, and you've done... The original, all original six teams, the Stanley Cup, the NHL, um, I think that might be it. That might be it for now. But yeah. it's, it's a we narrated got, voiceover kind of thing. Of, yeah, and it's, I, I, you, you and I did a lot of the research. You found some pictures. I did too. I did the, uh, the voiceover, and we started with the original six and the NHL and the Cup. The, the mission next is to do the six expansion teams in 1967. Yep. And then do this 1970, 71, 72 expansion exactly. and keep on going in order of joining yeah. the league. And these will these will happen in the off season when there's no playoffs or NHL regular yeah. season happening. And maybe I have some time too, because when I did those all the research and the work for those, I was between jobs in mm. the summer. And I had lots of time. I don't now. I just don't. Yeah, unfortunately. So anyway. Uh, let's go Buffalo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I for, forgot to finish reading Adam's letter. Uh, P.S. Uh, I made... Uh, I made, I made the, font, the, blue the font blue because oh the font blue because the the black, the black ink in over, our printer oh, was, right now was out. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That's great. Thank you very much for the schedule. Thanks, Adam. Now we'll reveal the pucks one oh. at a time. Ooh, the Florida Panthers. Nice. I do not have a Florida Panthers puck. I don't collect is, pucks per se, but with all the pucks that people have sent in, I now officially have a puck collection. So. This is official. This is official puck here. Oh, you get the, an AHL. That's the Americans. This isn't my first AHL puck, because we have some Fredericton Canadians pucks back from the 90s, Yeah, when they used to be the Montreal Canadiens farm team. And, and Rochester was in the league back then. We and saw them Fredericton. play. Yeah, we yeah. saw them play. Yeah. Ooh, a Buffalo? I don't have a Buffalo puck either. That's great. This is awesome. They... Oh, cool. And a Springfield Thunderbirds puck. Nice. That's awesome. That I is, really like that logo. That's, so that's yeah. cool. Thank you very much. I appreciate Superb. that. Superb. <coughs> that's great, Adam. I'm sorry I keep coughing. I'm still recovering from a cold. Yeah. That's that's really good of you. That is awesome. Those things aren't easy to send because they're heavy. And, yeah, heavy. Know, and They cost more to mm. send, and uh, you've done, a, done us a great favor. Mm, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Adam. Um, I'm going to... Put this in here. Okay. I'd like to write Adam back. Lovely. You want a mini egg? I do. What's that? That's uh, it's an envelope. But but the entry from it is in the pile. Do they have mini eggs in the states? That's it's Cadbury. That's Cadbury brand, which is mostly a British brand that's also mm -hmm. popular in Canada. So I would guess that if they have them in the states, it's not. Cadbury. It's Maybe probably... the eggies. <laughs> Peeps. Uh, oh, right. Oh, here. So this one looks like it got pretty mangled by the post office here. This oh, is Nate. from St. John's, Newfoundland. Ah. St. John's. Yes, bye. I love St. John's. 
I was there about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Stayed downtown. Was it windy? It was brutally windy. Yeah. It, well, it always is. It's it St. John's. It always is. It's, yeah. Holy smokes. There is Coming it. into Tor Bay, you're just going all over the place. And I stayed uh, down Cabot. It'll Delta. Come, is that come, the Delta? It'll come to you. Yeah, yeah. There's that like Cabot Hill, I think it is, or whatever. The, or Barter's Hill. Barter's Hill. There you go. All righty. Oh, nice. I have a Montreal Canadiens one of those. Oh, nice. Uh, on the mic. Over there. Yeah, it's right there. It's on the mic. Hi, Post to Post. I'm Evan. I'm eight years old, and I'm from <clears> St. John's, Newfoundland. I've sent you a chapter book called Slap Shots 3, The Face-Off Phony. I've also sent you some hockey cards like Pierre Turgeon, Kelly Kissio, Chris Chelios, Wayne Gretzky, and more. I love hockey, and my favorite team is the Toronto Maple Leafs. My very first live game was at the St. John's Ice Caps versus the Texas Stars. Nice. I've been to an NHL game, too, when I visited Arizona. It was Arizona and Tampa. I love your channel. Thanks for all you do. Hope you like what I've sent you. That's fantastic, Evan. Thank you so much. And I've never seen a game at Mile One Place, which is where the St. John's Maple Leafs used to play. <coughs> a day or two off of my trip, the second to last time I was, time I was in St. John's, Mile One is literally a block from where I was staying in the hotel at the Delta. And the Montreal farm team at that time, the uh, was it Ham wasn't Hamilton? No. Yeah. What was it? Yeah. Hamilton Bulldogs. They were due to play like the night after I left. So mm -hmm. I, I came that close to seeing a game there. But uh, I love St. John's, and you have to go there. You I've never been to the Yeah, yes. So. It's fantastic. There's lots of artwork here. Can I hand it to you one at a time, and you can maybe hold it up mm -hmm. after you look at it? That's Patrick Waugh. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. We've got some Max Pacioretty here. This one. Got a post to post. The post to post logos here. It's cool. And then. I'm not sure. How, I don't want to. This is a kind of tape, so I don't want to bend it. We've got all kinds of stuff on here. It's got Shea Weber card on there. Some stuff on the back here. And then. Ah, <laughs> this is, uh, got some jerseys hanging in the background, some post-to-post -post artwork. It's going to be a little hard to see. You can see us there sitting at the table. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Brent, goat. Got my name there. Got a little hair on my face, too. Oh, I guess there is hair in there. It's okay, USA logo there. And a maple leaf here. That says Slovenia. We got the like international, are, yeah, yeah some international logos here. It's this one there. It's a Sweden one there. That looks like the Czech Republic or Slovakia. So that's Sweden for sure. The three crowns. That'd be Slovakia there, I believe. This is Mike Richter. This looks to be a Toronto. Versus Montreal drawing. Uh -oh. Well, we know who won those games this year. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. Got another drawing here. <laughs> that's great. Frank Mahovlich, Montreal. Ah, so that's what it is. It's Frank Mahovlich, who ah. played for both teams. Number 27. Jean Beliveau. And this is you. Montreal Canadiens Hockey Club. Thank you very much, Evan. Me? It says, I'm the GOAT. Up here, and <laughs> he said it looks to be some yeah, a good hockey cards, I assume. That's great, Evan. Oh, nice. Some Patrick Kane, all kinds of cards here. There's a lot here. So. Nice. Nailed in Mount Pearl. More cards here. Wow. Need to see these. Some Canadians cards. I've got some rookies in here. Hard for me to show you guys. There's a rookie card there, Young Gun. These are some nice old vintage cards here. Cool. Sergey Sergey Makarov. Makarov, oh yeah. Oh man. Pierre Turgeon when he was an Islander. 
couple of tears in it. Wow. Wayne Gretzky with the Art Ross Trophy. Wrapped these well. Well done, Evan. We made it here safely. Ah, uh, some Rangers cards in here. Oh. And the one. Turgo. John O'Grodnick. Oh, my goodness. Ron Francis. Some Penguins cards here. Cool. Here's Dustin Bufflin. He's still going strong. Got some old Jets cards. The Six of Clubs. <laughs> Final one here. Carl Hagelin. Bruins cards here. So I'll set all these over here. Well, and this is, there's a lot of drawings in it, so I'll put it over in the entry pile. And then the Edmonton Oilers little keychain thing here. There. All right. You need to switch. Things here. Cleveland Heights, Ohio. I'll be going through Cleveland next month. Of course you will. I will. I think we're going to take the northern route. Go through Cleveland, down towards Columbus, Ooh. then down to Dayton. Ooh. Dear Neil and probably Brent, my name is Alexander. I'm 10 years old. You said that typing a letter doesn't mean it's it is an original, so here it is. I love the channel. My favorite part of the channel is the podcast because I love hearing about the latest and greatest hockey news. My favorite team is the Columbus Blue Jackets, and I live in Cleveland, so I also love the Cleveland Monsters. I've included some things from both teams, and I will get right into it. In the package, I included a lot of bubble wrap for Brent to pop, and some hockey things, too. At the top is two minifigures. The one with the hockey helmet is for Neil, and the one with the hat is for Brent. All right, all right, all right. Next is, uh, I'm not done. Next is some hockey cards that I had extras of, and my favorite player, Espen Knutson. I included a little circle thingy of the Monsters 2016 Calder Cup win. I was there in a box seat when Sonny Milano scored the winning goal with .5 seconds left in the game. It was epic. Anyway, I then included a shark's puck that I don't want, I also made a clay sculpture of the monster in the logo. I included a schedule of the monsters that I think you guys collect. Boom. And I think that's it, but I might have included something else. Thank you for making great content on YouTube. You are my favorite YouTuber. And I've heard about the channel, or have you heard about the channel Nasher61? He and you would go great in a discussion. Thanks again. Cool. I have heard of that channel. Yeah. I've got some pieces here. I'm just going to set those aside. Here's the thing that he sculpted that looks like the logo oh. <laughs> of the monsters, which you can see. Yeah? There. That's really good. And here's the sculpture. There's a logo on the front. It can be hard to see, but that's very well done. Yeah, that's really well done. And there's the schedule. The schedule. So. Look at that. The Cleveland monsters. Stay connected cool. all season long. I'm going to set this box down here. That is great. And check out these hockey cards. Nice. Just an applicator. Cylinder. Wow. Ron Tugnut. Heck yeah. Mark Denis. Got some old school cards here now. Nick Kiprios. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he played for Washington. <laughs> I didn't know that. Really? John <laughs> Collin. Randy Cunningworth. Oh my goodness. He played was, for Hartford. And was a coach of Montreal for a little while. Yeah. yeah. Assistant coach, I believe. Yeah. Cool, that's awesome. Thank you very much for the cards. And that's great, stuff. Alexander. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm going to very gently put this. So the one there. with the hat is mine. Yeah, the one... Or the helmet. Sorry. What, one of us has a hat and one of us has a helmet. Yeah. Um, the one with the hockey helmet is for Neil and the one with the hat is for Brent. Yeah. So that's the helmet there. Yeah, and this piece goes on there. Okay. <laughs> and I get the hat guy. That's I'm just cool. going to set this over here. Yeah. Together, so I don't lose the pieces. That's great, Alexander. <coughs> Appreciate it. Yes, thank you. And That's you got awesome. that shark's puck. Did you have a shark's puck before? Nope. No, I added to the collection, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty timely, considering that they're moving on in the in the oh, yeah. second round. That's right. All right, the last package here. Um, I know what's in this. I know, I know it's a jersey. Uh, this is 
from I took the, I ripped the address off the front of the custom stuff. Um, this is from Alexandria, I believe her name is. Okay. Oh, there's a letter. Okay, good. Dear Post to Post, my name is Alexandria. I'm 19 <coughs> years old, and I've been a hockey fan for almost as long as I've been alive. I was born in Michigan, so I have been watching Red Wings hockey my whole life. Although living in Arizona, I'm not around for too many other hockey fans. Or I'm not... I'm not around too many other hockey fans, right? Along with this letter... In this package, I'm sending a Philadelphia Flyers Winter Classic jersey that I found in a store my oh. dad and I uh, go to, to all the time. And when I saw it, I knew it would go great with your collection. And I know you will give it a good home. If you have the time to send back a letter and maybe some extra Red Wings cards that you have, I that can would do that. be awesome. Uh, keep up the awesome work, guys. The address is on the back of this letter. Perfect. Cool. Look at that. Thank you very much, Alexandria. Thank you for this jersey. That Philadelphia Flyers Winter Classic jersey. Oh, man. Oh, no. I have some bad news. Let me confirm. Unfortunately, this is a fake jersey. The, oh, the actual Winter Classic jersey from this year um it actually says nhl winter classic instead of it doesn't start with winter classic and it's in a different font and uh and the logo is is different as well i'm so sorry alexandria um i cannot add this to my collection i, I don't have any fake jerseys all my jerseys are legit um uh, i feel terrible i'm so sorry that um i assume you didn't know obviously uh it's it is really hard for someone who doesn't collect jerseys to spot a fake jersey um but i've been Oh, it's got Giroux in the back, too. Oh, Giroux, yeah. I've been collecting for, for a while now, and I'm able to spot them. But unfortunately, this is a fake jersey. So I'm not going to be able to display it on the channel or wear it or add it to my collection. But I do know someone who would appreciate this and uh, who, who doesn't mind uh, fake jerseys. There's nothing wrong with fake jerseys. Like, if you... The prices of NHL jerseys are crazy. Well, they're crazy. So if you, well, yeah. If you want to spend 30 bucks and get a fake jersey, there isn't, there's nothing wrong with that. I understand... The, the crazy prices of NHL jerseys. I'm not judging anyone out there who has uh, fake jerseys or anyone who collects fake jerseys. It's just, like, I display my jerseys behind me all the time. You can see up here. Um, in my collection, I, it wouldn't be fair to have a fake jersey in there. It just wouldn't feel right. Um, so it's no offense to, to you or anyone else who, who, who collects fake jerseys. Um, but unfortunately, I, I can't include it in my collection. I hope you understand. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I do know someone who... who who will who will find or who will give this a good home? So if it's okay with you, um, I I will give it to that person, and uh, they will take very good care of this. Um, but if you're not okay with that, I'm more than happy to send it back your way if you like it. And I'm I'm so sorry, but I just can't put this in my collection. That fair enough. It sounds mean to say that when someone goes through the time to buy this and they ship it here, and spend the money. But yeah, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I I can't. I'm I feel terrible, but I just can't have it in in my collection. Um, anyways, that's kind of a... Well, that's a downer. A sad, a sad note to end on. Thanks for mail time. We had uh, it's a great a, mail time. <laughs> it's a really nice jersey. Yeah. Um, but yeah, unfortunately it is fake. That's sad. Yeah, I, I've not seen it. So. You can tell by um, so the, the font here. But even like the manufacturer label and stuff, the CCM and all that, that's... Uh, that's fine. That specific tag is fine. Okay. This here would be actually stitched completely into it and not loose like it is. Oh, okay. Uh, this would start with, I don't know if you guys can see, but on the back it says Winter Classic jersey, or Winter Classic, January 2nd, 2012. Uh, I know from... 2017. 2012. Oh, 12. I know oh. from research and I know this jersey specifically, uh, that this font is incorrect and it actually starts with NHL in the front. So that was the first sign that it was uh, fake and also the logo itself is uh is 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 incorrect it's a good job it's not bad yeah it's 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 not bad um this is pretty close to the to the actual one the a there in the back and uh on the back here this is this is unfortunately poorly done as far as the number goes the number and the logo in front are 
you know, pretty big signs as well. So, mm. um, man, I, I feel terrible, but well, uh, I do know someone who will give us a good home. So I'm that's, that's 100% a, confident in that. So, that's a good news. Uh, it will not go. It will be loved. It will not go unused or unloved. Um, someone will definitely yeah. give this a good home. And if you'd like, I can tell you who that person is. Uh, if you, I can reach out to you on Twitter because we, we talked on Twitter. So I will do that and I'll let you know who that person is. And uh, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. But I am sorry that if you if you are disappointed because I can't use it or accept it, um, I'm really sorry. But All right. That ends, that ends the mail time. That ends mail it's, time. I don't want to end on a sad note, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Thank you to everybody. Yes, thank you to everybody. I really appreciate along it. Thing, just like all the time, you folks are so generous and so giving of, of your uh, of your money and of your very mm. precious things and of your talent and yourselves to to make the artwork that you sent in. Yeah, we've got uh, some so we've got some entries for the contest, which is awesome. Yeah, uh, that closes at the be end of May. So make sure you get your art. if you want to uh, be a part of that contest, get your artwork in now. Uh, you have a basically a month and 10 days or so mm -hmm. to get it in. So there's still lots of time to, to mail in your artwork and stuff. So please do that. And uh, we got some new schedules for the, yeah. we got three new schedules for yeah. the collection, which That's is great. Cool. Um, so thank you everyone who wrote in a letter, who wrote, who sent in some artwork, who sent in some items, some pucks, all that stuff. I really, really appreciate it. If you do want to send us a letter, our PO box is down in the description. So you can just click, like see more and you can see all the descriptions down there. Um, all the other information is down there as well. Like we said at the beginning, um, don't send UPS or Pure Relator or any, any uh, courier. Please send it uh, your local post office, USPS or Canada Post or um, whatever it's called. Post Nord if you're in yeah, the, yeah, post -Nord. Sweden. Or, <coughs> Excuse yeah, me. Or the Royal Mail if you're in the UK. Mm. Yes. And uh, also include your return address inside the letter as well. So I think that's all. Very good. I think that's all the information. Yeah. So thanks again. I, I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a good day. And subscribe if you're new. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.